Hi, it's Hazy and welcome to my channel. The dog has just decided that somebody is somebody at the door. Is that what it is? Alex, come back. All right. <laughs> okay. Hi, it's Hazy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making this little food. Uh, actually, it is a um, journal made from a some index cards. So I've decided to use that. You can use several different closures. You don't have to use closure at all. But this is a bit of a um, gator mouth, isn't it? So it's uh, turned out a bit of a gator mouth. So I've added some string to keep it closed. Okay, so we're adding all these bits today. Yeah, we're adding all these. So show you how to do these and that. Um, and how to make the journal so it's uh, nice and neat. Okay, probably in a not a lot, not a logical way. But <laughs> if you go, <laughs> I'm not talking about logic. Yeah. So if you want to join me today, that'd be absolutely amazing. I loved it at the end the way this helped me tie it. But actually, I've got another way I can do it. Actually, like this. So if I put that through there, yeah, like this. I think Alex is here, so he's going. He want me going to take the dog out. I think. Right. So he's getting excited. That's the way of doing it, lot. Without all these loopy things. So please give me a thumbs up. That'd be absolutely amazing. And um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would be absolutely amazing as well. Thank you so much for all my subscribers. <laughs> Tom's <laughs> getting excited. And um, so let's go and we'll show you how to do this today. I've just decided to. No, it hasn't done it. Just a minute. I'm just going to tie you this. Okay, so that one and there. And I've got to get it through the right place, which is there. There we go. I've done it. Right, so now I get these loops a bit smaller. And let's go. Right then, so today we're making a little journal from index cards. I've made I've made them before. Yeah, we have to have them the right way around. So we took I took four of these and folded them in half. Okay, so individually folded them in half. Okay, so there we go. This is what I've done. <laughs> as as we say in the UK, here's one I made earlier because of the uh, program Blue Peter. There we go. Right, so oh, I haven't finished that one, so I can just finish. It's all stay that way around. I can also just finish inking up this one. So I've inked them all up. I don't think it's necessary to ink the middle actually. Right, okay, so I've got four of these all done like this, okay. Rounded the edges individually. Um, then, I was thinking, now, if you want to make a journal, okay, and you do it like that, you've got those bits sticking out here, haven't you? So I'm not doing it like that, I'm doing it in a different way, I'm doing it like this. Okay. Well, that one's got quite a bit. Though. I don't know if I need it. <laughs> I don't know if I need it all in the middle there. Right. Okay. I, I did them yesterday. So, right. So I have some covering bits. I don't know whether to cover them now or later, and I will find out whether it's now or later when we do our yeah logic assessment. I don't know. Whatever it is. Okay. We can have a little logic assessment, can't we? That's what I tend to do. Right, so I'm going to glue, these are my um, Gustav Klimt attempt at, um, well it's, a, it's not an attempt, it's um, inspiration, that's the word, yeah, it's an inspiration. And I've reduced them right down to uh, whatever it is, it's not very, it's about, oh it's about three inches by one, four and a half inches, no nearly four and a half, something like that. I used to reduce them down on word. I think you can use um I don't know if because I'm on my Kofi, if you can use um GIMP to do it, apparently, but I'm not I've never used GIMP. 
I've always used, if, I've, if you've painted one yourself, which uh, I've seen a lady do it, and that's Sally. I don't know, if, don't know why she likes to be called Sally Ann or Sally. Her full name Sally Ann. <laughs> but she does them, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely adorable. It's totally different to mine, which is, you know, it's that's good. Um, oh dear, look at this. I can't get it straight here, look. I'm trying to just get it straight. That's that's the trouble, isn't it? Like you're gonna. I want to put it on the edge because I want to do an edge. You don't have to cut all the way round. That's what my idea is. I want to just be able to put it down, okay, like this, and then cut around the other bits. If it doesn't matter about round in the corners. That should now go straight along there if everything is. Yeah, it's done it now. Right, okay, that's the front cover because this one is a bit creased. I mean, it's fine, it's going to be fine. When you lay it down, on, when I lay it down on my... Um, why's that like that? Yeah. Did I put glue on there? I don't want any glue at all on this. Just got to find my cloth. I don't want any glue at all on the, on the other. Does me learn it on it again? Look. Well, what we'll do is get rid of this, fold it up or whatever you know, not as you do, and um, that'll be now a nice clean bit for next time, won't it? that's fine i don't think it matters about the edge because that's i've decided to ink that up anyway haven't i so that's fine yeah right i'm gonna do the back now so one of these will be the back let's have a look um so front. that would be the back i don't know uh yeah i think might have it the same way round, a different way round, knowing me as I do. I would wonder which way was, well, it doesn't matter. I don't think it would matter anyway, really. Yeah. This is my uh, number two um, Kofi, yeah sheet there right so what I'm going to do now is quickly cut round the edge right okay yeah okay that's fine that's um that's good really because I think you put it on the opposite way, opposite way round. So if you put one, that's the front, and that's the back. So it's the opposite way round. So don't put another one on. I don't know if this is logic. Don't if this is not logic. Yeah, because if I put that one there, then that one be that side, not this side. So you'd need it on that side. Okay, there. Not one this side and one that side. If you're doing it like me, you might you might decide to do it at the end. I think that's I don't know that might be logical, but don't ask me because I haven't got any. Right, no logic whatsoever in my in my body. Right, and sometimes I have. <laughs> very rarely. Right, so what do I do now? That is the front, isn't it? So that would fold like that. So to fix these together, instead of putting them inside each other, which I think is. Um, Cute, but you know it bulks it out a bit we're doing it like this okay so I've cut some piece of paper one inch by three and three quarter inches or something like that from my paper okay so I'm going to glue one side <laughs> why would I do it on top of there when that's been glued on I don't know just put them over there a minute I'm going to glue one side which will be this side so that will be the front there Okay, I don't think it matters about gluing on that because I've got. And I'm gonna. <laughs> this is annoying. This is keep moving the glue thing out of the way <laughs> and putting it on the desk. And then yeah, this is why. This is probably why I don't usually do it. Okay, 
that. So I'm just going to put it a little bit above and a little bit over. I think it's because I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap between each one because I don't know. Uh, I can't remember what I did before. This, I haven't got a prototype handy. But anyway, um, so on this, I don't know how to do this. Right, let's grab that a minute. Glue this. Okay. This is a, this is very annoying, isn't it? All this moving this paper out of the way. Yeah, this is why this is why I get all glued up and everything. Yeah. Right, and then I'm going to lay that on top. I think that's quite a good idea, isn't it? Lay that on top so it matches this rather than that because I put that slightly over the edge. I don't know if it works better. I think you can use fabric actually. Yeah, a lot of them doing it wrong already. I'm using, um, you can use fabric. I'm going to, oh dear, use fabric for the edge. Uh, there we go. Right, so that's that now. Okay, I don't know if that's, yeah, it leaves a nice bit of a gap. So it's, I think it might be because it's easier to turn the, I think that's why I've heard that before. I don't know if that's, you could try the other way around and absolutely put it flush to the edge, but we'll see. Let's get a piece of paper back. Now I'm going to glue in this edge with the opening here. That's what I'm doing anyway. Let's see. If you've got a more logical way of doing this, you do it because <laughs> I haven't got any logic at all. You do it. You do that. Right. So again, I'm going to make that so it's slightly over. Okay, and then <laughs> do this again. Okay, put that in there. I think it's the same piece of paper, but I think it was okay. Okay, so that's the outside of it. And you've got a pattern in the middle. I don't know why I'm singing, but I am. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm making a sing-song voice. Right, okay. Let's put that... Um, there-ish ish and we'll just put that against oh no we've got we've got to what we've got to do is match the other one of those not the not this yeah, so we're all flush against the edge there now we're going to put the back on aren't we in a minute okay so that's the back and again <laughs> here we go again another one of these so we've got that with that thingy there Okay, like that, yes. And then, okay, I don't know why I'm doing that voice, but I am. Right, okay, I think it's, um, it helps, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure. Right, um, so I'm putting that on there to match those ones on the outside. Yeah, I don't know why it's, I assume it's like, I'll have to try the other way, actually. Uh, now I've got to be careful because that is a bit, I just have to glue on that bit. I don't know why that's like that. Oh no, of course, I'm going to put my piece of paper in the middle, aren't I? Oh, is it upside down? Wait a minute. Oh no, is it? Have I done that upside down? That one's the right way. That one's the right way. That one is upside down. I'm going to correct it because I don't want it upside down. I want it the right way. So either get another piece or it's... I think that'll be okay. Right, so I'm gonna just glue on that side. So this is this is against the this is against what I, I uh, was telling you earlier, isn't it? But hey, I'm just gonna try and get it. So it's all the right way up. That is a point, isn't it? Right, so see if I can just get that over the edge there. I don't know if I have or not. And oh no, I haven't. Needs to be a bit down, doesn't it? Right, that needs to be a bit down. Sorry, I was chatting away to myself though. I'm not even. I was completely ignoring everyone. Right, there we go. I think that's more or less. Oh, that's why. Right. Oh, I don't know if this one's right. Why is this one being awkward when the other ones went so smoothly? 
But anyway, if you've got problems as well, don't worry, look, because I have. <laughs> and I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, this, if you encounter problems, don't worry about it. There we go. You might, oh yeah, encounter, if you if you do things wrong in inverted commas, you you might find that you've discovered something new. I always think that. Right, let's so let's get this in place. Okay, so that goes like this. I hope I've got all those at the top as well because those I think I have. <laughs> That's another thing to to uh, have a look at as well. Make sure you've got all your things on top yeah so that's that so okay so we've got now we've got a little bit of a spine going on haven't we so i'm going to if i can find it wherever i've put it oh there it is okay put this now this is fabric i'm going to put it because i think this goes quite well with this so i'm going to put it along here let's see how much we'll need because i'm going to put it i think quite about that say so it's going to look like that on the front so where are we going so back down here yeah it's worth looking i think and i'm going to put glue on this okay yeah i think you can obviously glue a bit more afterwards i don't want to put it over the top of right, okay so it's be something like that Notice it's a bit long, that's because I didn't know. I wanted to make sure I got the correct amount. Okay, that's a good, this does glue fabric. Because it says it, um, it's washable to so many degrees fab with fabric, that. It, uh, that's why I know it, it would glue fabric. Because you're not going to wash water, are you? <laughs> so, I wash water. Wash paper. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing I'm going to wash water. I don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> how do you wash water? I don't know. Right. That's a point, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose you just, I don't know. You put a, um, <laughs> some sort of um, <laughs> um, dissolvable tablet that would uh, clean water. Yeah, I think you can do that. There should actually be fabric scissors, apparently. So I'm going to cut... Let's try and just cut the, let's just cut it off. If, it, if there's any overhanging bits, we'll deal with them. Because these are quite sharp, actually. Yeah. So that's that. So that I've done that fabric because if you notice, paper does behave all the time. Okay. I think if you open it up as well, you might need to flatten it. I don't know. Let's try and get to the middle. Uh, one, two. Is that the middle there? Well, Two either side, I think that's the middle, isn't it? So if I want to stretch it, you don't want to bulge there really. Oh well, don't, I don't think it would matter, would it? Right, let's have a look. No, that, that flattens out. So perhaps a little give there doesn't matter. Right, so there we go. So now I've done this. We've got a little index card. Look at that. Look at this here, look. Index card um, journal now. Okay, you can do it in coloured index cards. I did on the first one. I have no idea where it is. Now, if you want to, if you want to count, if you want to decorate yourself and uh, leave, you know, that's it. That's fine. But if you want to stay with me, I will show you how to decorate it, okay? Or how I'm going to decorate it. I know some people like to to see that sort of thing. So I'm going to put pockets in and um, things like that, okay? I've got no plans at the moment. Okay, I've just seen if they are... Uh, yeah, they're not too bad, are they? They've got a bit of a... Yeah, so I've left a little bit of a gap there and there, but that's good. Right then, so that's a little journal. So you could leave it as it is, make a little notebook as it is. You could just, for just writing in. Okay, I quite like the idea of these because they add to the decoration. So I'm going to, um, yeah, ah, yeah, 
that's fine because I yesterday I made some words. Let's see if we've got a little word for the front. Okay, these little tiny words. I think dream's nice. Let's see if that would go there. There's pride also, which is good. Create, that one's good, and it's tiny though, that one. Yeah, so I made these yesterday and I reduced them. I did cut them out, so if anybody saw that one, I did cut them out as well, so create. Oh, it's adorable. That looks so professional. You know what I mean by professional? <laughs> I mean, it's. Um, I didn't adjust it because I thought I was going to adjust it because I think it looked like photocopies, but it looks very, you know, like professional. <laughs> that's somebody else has done it, not me. <laughs> that's, what I mean, that's what I mean by professional. Oh, there's a little bird there. Here we go on there. Ooh. Yeah, I did that yesterday. I just did it. I don't know why. And I thought, oh, I'll do that on brown paper and then just cut it out. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we need a background or we can just have him flying through the Gustav Klimt inspired art there. Right, so I'm going to put create there, yeah. I like that. Right, so I'm going to put create there and I'm going to put that bird on as well. Flying that way. It always looks like it's about to land, doesn't it? So what's he going to land on? Shall we have him landing on this? Or shall we have him? Uh, I'm going to put him there. I don't think it's too bad, is it? And you can just see him then, just, you don't have, you know, it's like a subtle thing. And I haven't drawn that, so it's a rubber stamp. There we go. I don't know if I could, I'm an ally, I, you know, I'd have a go at drawing a bird, but I don't think it would turn out as good as that. <laughs> All right, um, I can draw faces, yeah. Right, so that's your thing. Okay, front cover now finished so you could do something like that on your front cover you want to carry on decorating with me let's go for it um what can we put i always think a pocket in the front here but what am i going to make it from oh. Oh, this is this is a original i haven't copied it okay i could um Put some of that on it. Yeah, it looked nice because it's not. Um, it's a gel press, and I've done some doodles on the top. Yeah, that was on. The, that was basically on the desk. So well, there's that one. I like this. Everybody seems to like that idea. Yeah. Um, so I might use both those. <laughs> um, I could use, yeah, I could use one on the pocket on one page and one on the pocket on the other page. I'm not using those. I've still got it on two. Sorry, guys. That's it. Yeah, I still have it on two, Dana, because that's what happens. Yeah, I uh, forget. Right, so I can put that there. I can cut that out, can't I? Let's see. Um, so I'm going to do it like this. How big is that? Put that to the edge of the page so that yeah it is about there isn't it so i can cut that bit off actually yeah um, I've got lots and lots of little things I could put in it. And lots of little bits up. I can put one. I was thinking about putting one of those in there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that looks alright or looks a bit hand looks a bit um
Oh, there's one of my crafty ladies, Mark. Crafty lady, yeah. Right, okay, so that one. Um, wonderful. All been dropped over so long. Oh, that's quite cool. Paper clip. Paper clip. <laughs> Got paper clips all sorts. And I dropped something on the floor there. What did I drop on the floor? That's too thick. It's cute though, isn't it? Little ball. Yeah. Oh, that's right, so that will do for now, won't it? Look at this lot. Oh, oh shame. You can't put it directly on the page. An envelope would be great. I don't think I've got any little envelopes. Um, well, that would be perfect. I didn't have that stamp there. I, do, I suppose you could clip it to the page, couldn't I? Let's have a look. I've got a little heart one. A little heart clip. It's not a clip. It's a, well, it is actually, isn't it? Of course it is. It's a paper clip. So I'll clip that to the page. So you've still got that little stamp there. Come on, dear. Can we have you open now? Thank you. Right, uh, so I'll put the big bit behind and the little bit in front on it. I will, I will. Uh, how's, it, how's it not doing it? Is, it? is it glued together somehow? Or is it just me? Probably just me. Oh, hold on, what's this? Yay. That's it, done it. Finally. It's finally decided to work. So I can put that on there. Gives that a, because that takes the corner out there, doesn't it? Unless you moved it up a bit. Okay, I noticed that aren't perfect. Was that there? Oh, it's because it's the next one. It's okay. Right then, so what could we put on here? I've got that as well. Another envelope there. Ooh. Right, we're going to stick some things on there for decoration, I think. Let's see if we can find something in our little box. Right, I've got circles, which always work well. Let's have a go at doing that. I might do a flowers on the other side or something. Circles one side, flowers the other. Let's get some random circle. That's a bit big. That's an actual punched out one. Oh, there's one with the fluted edge. Yeah, plain, yeah. Ooh. That's an odd shaped circle. And that is. That's quite nice. See, just random little things there. That's great, isn't it? They could join them together, overlap them, things like that. And that add another one, just because that's a bit more... Oh, no, let's put green in because that's too... Do it that way, it doesn't matter. Right, so I'm going to have this here, okay, this is a little random circle thing, so this will decorate your page absolutely fine. You don't have to have anything special. That's just proving it. Okay, but over there, that's uh, probably one of my designs. Doodly things and, yeah. I've just got a circle, that's a copy of it, obviously. Well, not obviously, but I've just copied it and put it in. Okay, putting things against the edge. Overlapping them, they've decided but they've got a cup of tea. You don't even, you can't even see it. <laughs> I've got a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, this one brought it to me. You can't even see it. It's just here. You can hear it. A bit later on, it'll be, there'll be a little. It'll be a little. It will change tune a bit. Right. So let's have. Yeah, we'll have that there. Then we'll have that one because that's too much similar. Okay. And the original one was the green one, wasn't it? Yeah, because I feel like if I use the red one, the green one will get jealous. So why didn't you use me? You had me out first. There we go. 
Uh, if, yeah, so that's plenty of room there. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit of. I don't think there's enough room for them both. I don't think it's not. Shall we use them as well, just for the sake? Uh, yeah. Them used them both, aren't they? I don't have to put them back. Yeah. Yeah, it's punch out of something. I don't, I don't know if it's mine. It looks a bit like my. Uh, I don't think that's big enough. Just a little tiny. I've got some little tiny hole punches like that anyway. I don't want to put it too far down because obviously I've got this. Okay, otherwise I could have probably done, probably just done to there. Yeah, I'm going to see what I've got in my other. Yep, my little flowery things. Yeah, so I've done these all oh, loads of times, haven't I? So these are, I've got some flowery things in here. I've also got some circles in there which I can put in that one now. Flowers. Right then, I don't know. <laughs> that one's a different one. That one's made from watercolour paper. These are copies. Uh, that one's an original, I think. Yeah. I can't hardly really see the petals on that one. The edge, yeah. So I just put a bit of ink there. I like that arrangement actually, <laughs> as it is. Yeah. So I might just use those. I'm making this into like a notebook, book so that's got that yeah that's quite good I like that so far um, oh, oh what is it oh, I've got an idea didn't do this before right so I've got a stencil let's do some stencil but I'm not let's see what we're going to do it let's have a look I'm going to let me burl where's my burlap oh where's my burlap says I <laughs> right it's here right so I'm going to get a yeah, cross pollinate. I always cross pollinate. I do. There we go. In other words, do the colours on different places. I'm actually going to move my drink because <laughs> it might, Robin might make it spill. Okay, so let's have a go. I've double page spread now. Okay, I'm going to do some. What do you call it? It might, it might be called messy stenciling. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is what. Oh dear, what's on there? Oh, it's on the. I thought it was mud. I thought. I'd, it was on the paper, it's not. I don't think anyway. Let's try and do it all the way around the edge. So there you've got that then. A little edgy bit. So that's good, isn't it? You can do that on journals as well. I've done loads of times. On uh, big journals, obviously. This is a journal, yes. Um, okay. Um, I'm just thinking what I can do. I know. Um, I've got a little, I've got a quick idea that this would work. Anything will do. That's a piece of. Oh, must be the. That must be the original. That's what I just sprayed on. Okay, I just need a piece of um, that somehow or some of it. Yeah, I quite like this as patchy stuff. That's what I'm thinking. What about you? You don't like patchy stuff, don't you? <laughs> can I? You can cut this by thinking. If I use a knife, I'll be able to get it quite. It doesn't matter if we don't get it accurate, does it? Because it's not a 
it's only a, a little project yeah so let's get that cut using my lines on my mat okay and I don't think it did it very straight that did it? I said I thought, it was, I thought myself it's going to get really straight but it didn't no it didn't a little bit to perhaps cut I wish it was, my watch would stop beeping it's distracting Right. Actually, perhaps I don't because then otherwise it'd be like um, Billy No Mates, wouldn't it? <laughs> actually, it's just a, it's just an advert, actually. But never mind. I don't think that made any difference. Did that actually make any difference? It didn't look like it did. Never mind. Two inches, is that too big? Should I do one and a half? Is that too small? <laughs> no, I don't know. Let's have a look. There we go. So now I've got a piece of paper, any old piece of paper. Yeah, my favourite, these, all of these. This is a fast and creative one. Some of them are easier to use than others. I don't think we need all of it, do we? We only need a bit. But anyway, I'm going to try and do all of it. Yay, there we go. Whoops. I think, yeah, there's going to be a little bit more, I thought there would be. No, that would be too, oops. I would say that goes, I don't know if there is. <laughs> Just finish off. Yeah, that'll do it. Turn it round. Um, I think I start at that end and leave it in about here. I don't know. Would that be the same? <laughs> that completely, oh, it's not too bad, is it? Yeah, because I'm going by the edge. Apparently underneath it is about there. So underneath there, so that's how you start. Um, from what I can work out anyway. Oops, oops. If I put that, I'm trying to match it up with a pattern. Uh, and then, um, I don't think we need to do any more. I think that's great. That's fine. It doesn't matter if it's not quite in, does it? So that's going to be a belly band, I've decided. Okay, uh, if you try and cut straight across, I don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> I know if I'm going to do it. I don't know. I could have do, it, do it with a knife, I suppose, but right, that's straight across. There. I'm going to glue at the edges. I'm not going to turn it over. Where's a thing? Uh, anything will do. Probably be about four inches, won't it? Yeah, so that is four inches. Okay. Oh, it's got that on the back, but we won't see that anyway. It's just where I've rested it on some of my um, ink, uh, not ink, actually oxide pads because I've got mainly oxide. All right, there we go. Get the glue cloth because I can feel it, feel the glue on that paper. And then, what's that? I've just seen that thing I was going to put in it here. I've got Dream on that as well. well that's what I've got on the front, haven't I? Oh no, it's Create. I've put, ah, put Create. Uh, that's different then. So you could put that in there. Something like that. Uh, what else could we put in? Perhaps you don't have to decorate on all the pages. Oh, I think we do. Oh yeah, I know what I can do. Yeah, I'll leave that page a minute. I've got an idea. I've got, I did this in minis, didn't I, the other day? Because I did, I reduced it down. I think I showed you on on, on it, didn't I? Um, so I'm gonna cut some of this. Right, these, this is anyway up paper, so. What to do? What does it look like? Oh, that's going to work. Right, I'm going to. Let's cut it in half. Put it 
together and back to back to back. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's not quite the same size. I'm going to go back again. It wrong. Right, let's have a look. Two tuck spots. Oh, you have to have them different way round. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you do. You don't, can't have them opposite way round. You have to have that sort of that way and that, that way for some reason. But they're any way round anyway, so you don't do it that way round. You'd have to have it there. <laughs> I'm having it here. Right, so let's have a look, see what I can, what I can do. See what I can do. Oops, right. Right, uh, <laughs> I'll see if I, I'll perhaps glue along this bit and leave that bit there because it's um, going to be too close. I'm going to have to cut it off anyway. Oh, yeah, no. God, I've just realised I need to curve. Curve round somehow, yeah, like that. Well, it might be okay, let's put it there. Right there -ish. So I don't want to use those scissors now, we'll use these. <laughs> This is actually, oh, that's full now. This is actually made from a paper. Oh, look at all these little <laughs> dotty things. It's made from paper, not card, so hopefully it'll be okay. But that's the only one I had printed out, didn't I? Where's the other bit? Right, okay, so that will go here. So that will go there. Yeah, that's against the edge, isn't it? Ish, nearly, nearly against the edge. I'm going to do it. Okay, so now you've got a little tuck spot. I could try that. Oh, there's one with, that matches. Look, I'll just put it. Yeah, they. Hey, look at that. You could hide something really good under there, couldn't you? Well and good. Yeah, so that's good, isn't it? So I'm going to have to get some bits, aren't I, as well, to put in. Well, I've got plenty of card, little card things. Right, next page. Right then, so I'm just putting um, these together, okay, so I've got a piece of paper, not even, well actually it might be just under two inches by about three and three quarters, I hope, it's, hope they're okay. I'm going to make some sort of notch in it, not a round one, one of these little ones using my new punch you, you bought me, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this was bought for me, thank you very much. So I don't know whether to put, yeah, we could put it in the middle like that, couldn't we? That's actually there, that's there, that's there, okay. I could have made these a little bit longer, but I think that's okay. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to leave them like that. You can make them right to the edge, you can make them four inches, but I didn't. Yeah, little cute knots like them. It's like an, it's an envelope maker uh, punch, really. But I think that looks really cute. So that's two little pockets. That's two little pockets. <laughs> there we go, just decided to... Okay, so two little pockets there for whatever you want. And the other last page, I've got an idea for that as well. I have, honest, oh, I've just got to find something to make it with. Patchy. Oh, is that too patchy for you? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I don't know. Um, I'll make it, shall I make it that long? What's that? Well, that would be about six inches, wouldn't it? Six, uh, six and a quarter by four. Let's do six and a quarter by four. I know this is measuring. I haven't been measuring so far, but six and a quarter by four sounds amazing. I'm trying to fold. Do you know what? There's so much stuff on my desk, I can't even do it. They're gonna if I move stuff off my desk, that means I won't have time to finish it off. <laughs> Honest, right? Because my son will say, "Let's take the dog out." Yeah. And I'll say, yeah, and then I'll forget. Oh, well, how can I forget? Right, so I'm going to do, which bit do you like? Oh, I like this. I really like that. So I'm going to get that off. It's plain on the other side. It's also paper. I am not doing it as a six inch thing. So it's going to be a little bit more. That's plain paper on that side. You don't have to get plain paper because I'm going to, well, I'm going to actually have a go at doing something with it. Let's have a look. So I'm going to fold that bit in. It doesn't matter if it's not um, up to six inches. Fold it in without using a scoreboard, about a quarter of an inch or so. Yay, I love using scoreboards, so they're great. So that's going to be like that. Right, I'm going to put that, let's have a look, right at the edge there. Okay, and then find out where to, where it's going to fold. And if it's too long, that's fine. Because we can cut it off at this point, can't we? I'm also going to get it straight. I've got two of these things somewhere. Just going to put that across there. Okay, so that's done. Um, yeah, I'm going to round the corners. I'm going to round the corners, even though I could actually just cut them off, really, couldn't I? But if you've got more logic. You do your logical way, I'll do mine. <laughs> right, this is it. Um, okay, so that would go there. I might need to round those actually. Or cut them off. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's cut them off to match this. Okay. Oops, okay. Don't cut, obviously, don't cut the uh, fold off. Don't cut this. <laughs> Don't cut it off. Right, what I could do actually is either straight across or perhaps more of a diagonal. Because that looks so it looks neater. I don't know. Will it look neater? I know it quite looks quite cute like that, doesn't it? So I'm having it like this. Okay, so when you get to the end of this, when, whoever you're making it for, when, when they get to the end of this, they're not going to panic that they've run out of paper. <laughs> I don't know, just a little uh, idea. Right, so that will now fit, honest, isn't it? Yeah, sort of. Thingy. Ah, it is moving. It is moving too much that way. It's, that's about right, isn't it? Uh, we've do, uh, we are over a bit. So a slivery sliver is going to be cut off there. Slivery sliver. Oh yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and do it parallel to the edge. Yeah, I'm going to right, so that would go like that. So then you've got a nice flip out for the end there. There we go. So that's that. Right, so what we could do then is 
Let's move those out of the way. Oh, look at this. Everything's joining in. Look, it's, it's here again. Everything here. Right, so um, we could either decorate it with, around the edge. Yeah, she could ink it up, etc. Uh, where's that pencil I had earlier? There's a really good... It looks like burlap. It's actually French grey. What's here? It's right next to me. Right, French grey. This is... Um, what's this? A Caran d'Ache... Luminant, luminance pencil. I've got them. I think on my fam. Look at my Amazon. Anyway, I'm just going to go around the edge in that. And also, if you want, why not? Where's my? Th I've got several of them, but here, there's not. Oh, there's a, there's a, loads in here so there's another one i don't know where my um, one i've just been using is but you could also real line all oh, that's upside down but hey um, just gently across Right then, so now you've got your own piece, haven't you? Oh, okay, and they could also, also write on that, couldn't they, if they use black or something or dark colour. So they've got plenty of writing space at the back there. But I thought I'd use that because it's really pretty. Yeah. Right then, so let's see if I've got things to fill it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How many have I found? I thought I'm just going to find a few. I've found absolutely loads of stuff. I wonder if they'll fit in. My little cotton. Let's start from the beginning. We could tuck something behind here. Let's see what we've got. I mean, they're not all finished, so you could just finish them off. I could just finish them off. That's a very cute little card here. Okay. So that's a little card like that. That's already on the back. That was a um, 12 by 12 paper, actually. And that could fit there. What we got? Oh, this. Oh, this is just a play, so nothing needs to go on there. Or here. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Yeah, belly band I did have. Was it this one? So you could just put a couple of things in there. Let's put a couple of random things. Let's have that one as well. Just there in that belly band. Plain there. I left that plain, haven't I? So I didn't come back and finish it. Um, hmm. Got plenty of little matching that matches uh, this paper, <laughs> so you could actually hide that in there. But you want to contrast, then you can do that. Where's that really big one? I don't think that would fit. I absolutely adore this one. I don't know if it would fit. Well, it's just going to not quite fit, is it? Uh, well, just, it actually just does. Let's so I could just if I could just push the push the glue in a bit. Let's have a go. And then let's try I'll leave try and leave that in there. I've got these. Um where's those little file folder things? I've got some file folder things that I'd made from um digital paper actually. I don't know if they would fit in there. I've got one that's not made. Can you imagine something like that? That's digital paper. Okay, that is digital paper. I'm going to what you could do. You want to make a little file fold and, and if it's not quite the right size, just fold a piece of paper. I don't know how big that is. It's about four and a half by... Hold on, I've got to measure it full. Uh, oh, no, that's more than that. It's not four and a half at all. It's three and a half by four and three quarters, actually. But I'm going to cut it down to three inches. Okay, so we're going to have a short fat file folder. There we go. Short fat file folder, right? So, what I'm going to do now is um, it's going to be a one off, so I can do it like this. I'm going to cut a little bit across here, just parallel with this line here. It might take a bit of practice if you're not used to this. To a certain space, it doesn't really matter as long as you've got plenty. Cut it at an angle like that. Okay, that'll do, won't it? And then just round the corner. 
both sides actually. I'm doing this in the medium of this. Okay, and I think that's going to fit in. <laughs> or should we round those corners as well? No, no, let's not round those corners. I don't think they'll look. Right, I'm going to put that in there. Is that too big? Oh, or is it? No, that just fits. So you could put things like that. That I don't know if it matches that. That's my papers, so it might not match. But I want to mix and match. I'm mixing and matching my papers with um, others. A little tag there. That's uh, my Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon? Dog sitting flowers, I call them. Because <laughs> I painted them while, while I was dog sitting. It's actually an A4. It is an A4 piece. Well, I've reduced it down using wood. Um, you could, I think, use gimp, apparently. And this is your last page, so you don't have to put anything on that one. Oh, we could put a pocket there, I suppose, if you want. And there's your fold-out piece at the back there. And I think that looks absolutely adorable from the front, doesn't it? You have to make a closure. You could do a belly band or wrap some something round it. Oh, what's that? Is that, oh, is that attached to something? Yeah, but that's attached to something. Let's see if string-wise I've got string wise let's see what colours uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. no that's not doesn't go with it does it is that that one no mm. it's a bit more like it isn't it because that's got some of those colours in um i've got a candidate there i've got plain black i've got what's this one plain black again colour have i got any browns no that's i've tried that one too I think that's it. So this one is the one I might use. It's nice and it's got red, yellow, and uh, a pink and orange. Well, we always have a massive bit, don't we? Is that like twenty-four inches? So you can wrap that round if you wanted to use a closure right? or so belly band. I say belly band. Just do uh, something and then just wrap it round and see if that will fit. So you can slide it on and off, or you could actually velcro it as well. Velcro a belly band. I don't want to get that tangled up with my. Right. Uh, we get which way are we going? Are we going that way or that way? No, I'll have to tie that on the back one now. Oh, oh, oh! It's decided to. You know, it, it, do you see that? That's amazing, isn't it? It's just said to no. You don't have to tie it on the, on the belly band. Right. So I'm going to do this. I want to get a. If I can do it, there. See that? That's amazing, isn't it? That's. I mean, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Right, so do my Marcy Bow type thing. So I get the loops at the top and the... Well, I'm going to try anyway because I know it's there. just can't get it. Can I? Oh, I can. Right. So you might not need 24 inches as I've just done if you're doing it like this. Or you can wrap it round so it comes back the other way, yeah. That's waxed uh, thread. So you can leave it like that. That's quite nice actually. You've got those dangling and these dangling. Yeah. You make the loops a bit smaller by pulling and then perhaps even tightening the knot even yeah so there's your little um uh yeah what's that uh, sticking out yeah piece of <laughs> thing sticking out there right so i put if i'm moving over here a bit it's because i've got things cracked gradually coming towards me over here <laughs> yeah i've got loads of stuff i could have put that would have gone quite nice with it and so it's got plain back just um watercolor circles and around the edge as well I'm putting dots around that's on video i think that's um that's a i think i did something like that or that one on video full size it's a4 that's a, just a piece of uh digital paper printed one side that's one of my i've stretched that it's uh i call it my branches and leaves that's just washi tape on card um there's another one of my papers and i've gone around the edge in white and added dots Oh, I was going to add that one to that's a piece of Franken paper, as, I, as people call them, don't they? So I just had that, for, you could have that for interest, couldn't you? Some, anything like that, a bit textured paper, things like that, just to say, oh, what's this, you know? Yeah, you've got that, that would go with it as well. Little doodled. Anything like that, so please give me a thumbs up, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. And um, if you subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. Don't forget, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe um at all right so i'll just put that away okay so obviously i mentioned papers i'm kofi sorry about yawning uh, <laughs> i'm not i haven't bored myself it's just that i'm tired um 
Yeah, I've got to make dinner soon, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, I will say goodbye now and thank you so much for watching. For watching, not to watching.